Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows Search Indexer is using a lot of CPU usage on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is open up the Start menu. Type in Services. Best match to come back with Services. Left click on that one time. Now in services you want to go down until you get to the Windows search, so near the bottom of the page here, double click on it. If service status is running you want to left click on stop. And then you want to start it up again. Once that's done if we click OK and close out of here, what I'd suggest doing now would be to go ahead and left click on the start button again, type in indexing options. Best match to go back to indexing options. Left click to open that up. Now inside indexing options you want to go ahead and left click on where it says modify. Now you want to uncheck everything except for wherever the operating system is. Now you want to uncheck everything except for the local disk. So I'm going to uncheck the other two folders in here. I'm just going to select the local disk which is our C drive in my instance here. And then I'm going to left click on OK. Now once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and left click on Advanced. And then I'm going to left click on Rebuild, where it says underneath Troubleshooting, so left click on Rebuild. Rebuilding the index might take a long time to complete. Some views and search results may be incomplete until rebuilding is finished. Left click on OK. This will take some time to run, so just be patient. Obviously, however many files you have on your computer is going to really depend on how long this takes. So just be uh, aware of that. So it shouldn't take too long here, so we're just going to go ahead and let it run.
guys, so once that's done, you just close out of here. I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that has resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Dilbo was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.